Welcome back everyone to my channel. Yes, I've been missing. Where were you, Janawa? What have you been doing? Just Janawa, you've been missing for what? Four weeks? I'm sorry that I have been MIA. The world turned upside down and you just decided to go missing and not give us any content. Guilty, guilty, guilty. But don't worry guys, I'm back today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's just Janela. We talk about health, lifestyle, wellness, all good things here. So please click that subscribe button. So guys, I have a new video. It's going to be called Story Time. A short story written by Peppa and Joe. Joe is me, just Janella, and Peppa. Well, who is Peppa, guys? That will remain a mystery. So I believe that this series, or my short story series, is gonna be in five parts, and it's, obviously, it's short, so don't expect too much of it. And it's just, you know, for entertainment, to entertain you guys as we're practicing social distancing, um, you may be home in quarantine, you're tired of your regular content, want something different, I'm here for you guys, I am here. So let's get into our story. You guys know I can't see, so. Whoop, wow, chapter one. Sweet romance, but then again, was it just sweet nothings? Their story is about a couple who shared a relationship that was created in heaven, acted out on earth, and then migrated to space. Yes, you heard me correctly. Sean Douglas and Summer Forever met each other at the age of 13 and 11, respectively. It was during the summer vacation when Summer Forever visited her grandma with all intentions of helping her out in the bakery while school was on vacation. Summer Forever was a shy little girl, but she was very articulate and witty with her responses. <clears throat> Sounds like anyone you know. <laughs> During her first week at her grandmother's, she memorized the prices of each item for sale in the bakery. She was able to carry on addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division mentally and did the calculations faster than her grandmother could on her calculator. Her grandmother was very impressed and did not want Summer Forever to leave to return home to her parents. She was very loved by the elderly folks in her community and became a household name. Summer Forever met Sean Douglas during the first week in the bakery. He had a schedule and would visit the bakery at 5 p.m. each day to purchase bread for his mother. It was compatibility at first sight. And they always had interesting conversations. By the third week, Sean Douglas started to visit the bakery at 3 p.m. and he would stay until the closing time at 7 p.m. Eventually, he became the last person to leave. They would talk to each other once Summer was not seeing any customers. Once she is busy, Sean Douglas would stay in the left corner of the bakery and he would draw mathematical images of Summer Forever in his mind. The other young boys in the village heard about the new girl in the community. They would visit the bakery every day to purchase sweets. However, Summer Forever only had eyes for Sean Douglas and ignored all the other boys. At the end of the vacation, her grandmother did not want her to return to her parents. Summer Forever platonic relationship with Sean Douglas grew closer and so she was happy to stay with her grandmother. So that was the end of chapter two. Keep it short and sweet. <laughs> So guys, if you enjoyed it, and if you'd like to know what happened in chapter two, 
into comment down below and be like drop the next chapter so guys have a good day i hope you're keeping safe keep positive keep moving keep healthy and we'll get through this all together and see you guys for the other video thanks for watching